The sister says, what is your definition or idea of a Muslim man who would be capable to marry more than one wife? Uh, first of all, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not place in the heart of any man, uh, in the chest of any man, two hearts. So when Allah says be fair, he doesn't mean split the heart in half. The man can be fair in regards to what? His time, his money, his time, and his money. This is what he can be fair in. As for his desire, as for his love or his feeling, there's no way he can be exactly fair. And Allah, he said, you can never be fair as between women, even if it is your ardent desire. This is what Allah said. What does it mean? The women will never let you be fair in regard to that. They will always say, you like her better than me. If you go out and you buy your wives two roses, some, two flowers, two dozen roses, you give her the red roses and you give the other one the red roses. You know what one of them will say? Why you give her the same thing you give me? So you see, you cannot be exactly, you cannot satisfy them exactly from the heart. But what you can do is you can be fair in regards to your money and your time. So fair in regards to the money and time means what? Does it mean to give each one of them half exactly? No. If one sister, she has three children and the other one, she has one child. Do you give to them exactly the same? No, you don't. You give it to them according to ratio. Secondly, if one woman, if one sister, like Sauda, radiallahu uh, anha, she was an old woman, married to the Prophet sallallahu right? What did she do? Out of her love for the Prophet sallallahu and her loving for her sister, what she loved for herself, what did she do? She gave to Aisha radiallahu anha her days. She said, Ya Rasulullah, Aisha is a young woman, and she requires more time than me. So, O oh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, please, I give to her one of my days. Subhanallah. This is showing what wisdom? That from woman to woman, from situation to situation, there's a difference, different application. But who is the judge of that? The woman herself? No, it's the man. He is Qawamun. On him is the responsibility of that judgment. Now, if he's unfair, the Prophet Sallallahu said what? The man who was unfair with, between his wives, what did the Prophet Sallallahu say? He would come on Yom al Qiyamah with what? One side hanging down. So when he goes over the Sirat, if he have one side hanging down, what will happen? He will fall off the bridge. He will be unbalanced because he was unfair. He was unbalanced in this life, he will be unbalanced in the hereafter. But whose job is it to be Kawam? The man. Not for the woman to tell him, you're not being fair, you're not being just, or so and so, so and so. No, she can say to him, brother, please be careful about the time. Brother, be careful about the rights. Brother, it's not fair for you to come in the house at 11 o'clock at night. This is my night. So look to the fiqh, sisters, and know your rights, but also at the same token, be fair. No Muslim government can set a standard for polygamy if this is part of the question. There is no barometer to say whether a, a brother has the right to take another wife. This is a choice he can make. You have the imam, you have his family, and you have his own determination. No one can say to him, you don't make enough money. No one can say to him, your occupation doesn't provide you. Nobody can say to him, your condition doesn't warrant it. And the sister cannot say to him, you do not have enough money, you don't have enough time, you don't have enough so-and-so for me, how can you take another wife? That's not for her to say. This is the judgment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he gave to the man himself, but the man should take into consideration his situation. And maybe a question will come, should the man consult his wife before he takes another wife? Yes, that's mustahaba for him to do. But is it wajib? No. Is it binding? No. Absolutely not. He doesn't have to ask her permission, nor does he have to tell her he will do it. But should he? Yes. He should. He should consult her. Because it's a matter of respecting her feelings. If he's wise, he will do so.